I was going to do a more complicated video this week, but I ran out of time because it's late on Thursday night, so I decided I wanted to get one out. Today I want to teach you guys about my favorite investing rule, which is called the Rule of 72. It's a very simple rule, but it's very powerful, and it's going to teach you about the power of actual compound growth. Now back in the day, in like the 1600s or whenever Einstein was around or whatever, he said something about how compound interest is the eighth wonder of, a wor of the world or something like that. And while I would agree that it is very powerful, I'm going to have to disagree with Einstein because as far as I'm concerned, there's no other eighth wonder of the world that this world has ever seen other than Andre the Giant. Now, don't ask me how I got this hundred bucks, but I did, and I have this hundred bucks, and the rule of 72 is kind of fun, because it says, okay, if I invest this money, how long is it going to take me to turn this money into two hundred dollars? How long is it going to take me to double this money? And that totally depends on what your rate of return is, of course. So the higher the rate of return, the earlier you're going to double your money and so on, the lower your rate of return. So the rule of 72 just states that it's going to take whatever your rate of return, however many times it can divide into 72, that's about how many years it's going to take for it to double. So if you have a 1% rate of return, you're just crushing it at the bank in your savings account, it's going to take your $100 72 years to double. 2%, 36 years, 3%, you're paying really high fees, you're in invested well, but you're paying a lot of money in fees. It's going to take you 24 years, 4%, 18 years, 5%, 14.4 years, 6%, 12 years, 7%, 10.3 years, and 8% it's going to take 9 years for your $100 to double. Now I remember very clearly back when I was in like junior high some financial planner came into our school and talked to us about how somehow I was going to be a millionaire at 65 if all I ever did was invested $1,000 a year from the time I was 18 years old until 36 years old and then just let it grow. And that's because financial advisors back in the day used to tell us that we were going to get like 12% rate of return every single year. It's unrealistic in this market. The 80s were a great time to invest. So I'm not going to go higher than 8%. It's really not that fair. But now I'm going to talk about the actual power of time and the percent your rate of return is getting so hopefully it encourages people to invest earlier invest as soon as you possibly can and take controlled risk with your money so maybe don't go with that conservative portfolio but go with the more moderate moderate aggressive aggressive portfolio you should see higher long-term returns even though there's going to be volatility this week sucked the end of 2018 sucked, but also the beginning of this year was good. So times are just going to keep going like this, so you stay patient, you stay in the market for as long as you can, you reduce your fees, and you should be able to win as long as you do these things. So, <clears throat> like I said, once again, I'm going to go 1 through 8%. You started with $100,000, first I'm going to start at 10 years, and then I'm going to tell you the 30 year number. So if you're getting a 1% rate of return on your $100,000, it's in there for 10 years, you have $110,462, you are just absolutely crushing it, you're so pumped. In 30 years you have 134, 785. You're still crazy pumped. You've made so much money in 30 years. 2%, 100, 
121,899 and in 30 years 181, 136. 3%, 134, 392 or 242, 726 because it's gone past that doubling period. It takes 24 years to double and then it keeps growing, doubling off the 200. 4%, 148, 0, 024 or 324, 340. 5%, now we're starting to get into tripling your money in 3 years or 30 years. 162, 889 or 432, 194. And I don't mean tripling, sorry, I mean exponential growth. <clears throat> it's doubled twice. 6%, 179, 085, and then 574, 349. 7%, it's almost doubled in 10 years. Remember, it was 10.3 years. So 196, 715. And in 30 years, 761, $226. That's starting to turn into a lot of money. Now 8%, 215, 893. And 8% in 30 years is going to be over a million dollars, $1,006,266. We're starting to become pretty impressive. So time and your rate of return, the power of that just growing, is amazing. Einstein was right. Maybe Mean Gene Okerlund was wrong. I don't know. I never saw. I never saw Andre the Giant, but I liked his documentary. Uh, <clears throat> thank you guys very much again for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week.